NFTs are powered by blockchain and most often are Ethereum based. Did you know that the energy consumed by Ethereum every year is the same as that of Nigeria's annual energy consumption? The amount of energy consumed by cryptocurrencies makes us wonder how much is the NFT's impact on the environment. Let's try and answer two key issues here. What is their effect on the environment? How can we reduce the impact? Like cryptocurrency, NFTs also operate on the blockchain technology. These crypto as well as NFT transactions require massive amounts of energy because of the high-end computers required to store and trade this cryptocurrency. To put things into perspective, Ethereum's annual energy consumption of 112 terawatt hours is roughly equal to Nigeria's annual energy consumption. Now you might be able to imagine how massive the energy demand is for these transactions as most of these energy used for crypto transactions comes from fossil fuels. One can also translate this power consumption into carbon emissions. NFT mining is a process of creating a new non-fungible token on the blockchain. Here only one miner will be the one who solves the group of blocks in the blockchain and that person will be the owner of the digital item. Unfortunately, all the other miners who were solving the blocks will too consume a large amount of energy in the process. There are many platforms like Ecos, Hashlight and Slushful used for this mining. Bitcoin mining already generates 38 million tons of CO2 per year, which is more than the carbon footprint of Slovakia. A 2018 study published in Nature Climate Change found Bitcoin emissions alone could raise Earth's temperature by 2 degrees. The environmental impact of NFTs is similar as they use energy-intensive computer transaction to authenticate and sell art. Realizing this, many artists have stopped selling their NFTs like a French digital artist, Joanny, who realized that the sale of six of his pieces would consume enough electricity to power his entire studio for two years in just 10 seconds. But an important factor here to remember is that NFTs in itself don't create a tragic impact. It's the transaction in the entire process that does. The entire process of an NFT transaction, however, is energy consuming. It starts with an artist listing their NFT on a marketplace. After that, it is minted, which is it tokenizes the digital term into an NFT. To do this, the NFT is basically stored on the blockchain. Then when someone purchases the NFT, a digital receipt is created that points to the location where it is stored on blockchain. Subsequently, the receipt is stored in the buyer's wallet. After that, the information that is stored on the blockchain that talks about the ownership of the NFT changes. Thus, the lengthy process consumes a lot of energy. Instead of Ethereum, one can also use other blockchains. This can be up to a hundred times better for this environment in terms of carbon footprint. Some of these chains include Algorand, Tezos, Polkadot and other proof of stake networks. Experts also suggest that working on reducing the impact of the blockchain that's being used can lessen the harm done by NFTs and make them more environmentally sustainable. However, this would require a lot of research and would mostly be a short-term solution to the energy crisis. Thus, the main solution that the majority of green activists suggest is clean energy. They advise that majority of the cryptocurrency machines should run on renewable energy like solar, wind, tidal or hydropower. Even with these suggestions, critics say that in a world where most energy production is still derived from fossil fuels, cryptocurrencies and NFTs will continue to contribute to global warming if change doesn't happen soon. Thus, it is extremely imperative to find and implement quick and long-lasting solutions in order to solve the energy crisis arising due to the NFTs.